baby don't check for me taking time out to be and live my life off screen taking time Okay, so this is what I'm going to have for breakfast this morning. Just some white peaches. They're so good. They're not as sweet, but they're really good. So I'm going to snack on these while I do a little bit of editing. Good morning. So I got some new hair in today. So shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So they sent me over a curly unit. This is a 5x5 HD lace closure. It's 180% density and it's 24 inches. Now this unit does come with lace in the back. It comes with three combs and of course the adjustable straps. I always cut the combs out um, because they aggravate my scalp. I just remove mine with a razor. Now all of Nadula wigs can be paid in four installments. Use the special code, get an extra $10 off. I'll have all the information in the description box below. You special and she reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh. And everything is all right. I like how you doing all right, all right. Like how you think all right. Always on top of yeah, oh yeah. Like how you do it all right. Everything good all right, all right. Like how you think all right. Always on top all right, oh yeah. I wanna know it tonight. I wanna be the one to surprise you. Wake you up in the morning. Oh, the hair is washed, and I didn't dye the unit this time. Just really because I don't feel like it. Yeah, the hair looks really good. It's really soft. This unit doesn't do any crazy shedding. Of course, you're going to get some shedding because it's curly hair. But I did show you guys it's just a very small amount of shedding. So, love that for us. So, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for a little bit. And I'm going to install this. Okay, y'all, so here is the hair, and I love it. I think it looks really pretty. Y'all know this is my favorite curl pattern, and can y'all tell that I don't have the black dye on the hair? <laughs> it's still a little wet. It's a little wet up here, but um, it looks really pretty. Turn on the light. So y'all look at the curl pattern really pretty i'll have all the information along with the discount code in the description box below all right y'all so i'm getting ready to fix myself some matcha a lot of you guys want to know how i make my matcha it's really really easy so i'll show you guys how i do that okay so i use honey you can use whatever brand you want matcha this is the brand that i use sweetened already i get this from sprouts and then i use almond milk and ice and that's it so what i like to do is i put 
And one of you guys actually told me to do this because I was basically um, putting the matcha in the cup and then putting my milk in my electric frother and mixing it like that. But one of you guys said, just put it all in the electric frother and I've been doing that ever since and I'm never going back, okay? So, I don't measure anything, y'all know me. Put my honey, oh, can y'all see this? Put my honey in, depending on how sweet you want it. And then I add my almond milk. Depending on how big of a cup you're gonna drink out of. Now I do mix mine up just a tad bit because sometimes the honey gets stuck to the bottom of the electric frother. So I just help it out a little bit by mixing up the honey that settled to the bottom. So that should be good. Put my top on and turn her on. And it just, this is how it looks when it's mixing. Mixing everything up for y'all. Let me turn this light on. So it's just mixing everything up. Put the top back on it. Then take my glass. Add my ice cubes. finished show y'all what it looks like so this is my matcha and I just pour it over the ice and I still have a little left so I'll fill so I fill that up later mix her up and that's it that's how I make my matcha so bomb okay so you guys remember when, oh, I got my hair pinned up because I'm trying to do some stuff. Okay, but anyway, I showed you guys my white heels that I picked up from Public Desire right here. And I told you guys that the shoes were pretty uncomfortable under the ball of my foot. So I was looking for um, some pads I had went on Pinterest last night because I used the little um, pads like the little non-slip stick pads that you put on the bottom of your shoe I actually need to get some more of those for these especially but they look so cute on so I did find some I think they were like Dr. Scholl's so I'm gonna go pick up some of those I wanted to go get them today but I just really y'all I don't feel like going out the house today so I'm gonna probably go get them this weekend but I did want to show you guys these shoes they have the long strings and I bought them in three different colors so I got the white, I got the brown. This one is my favorite, so pretty. The brown, and then I bought the green. So cute, especially for the summertime. And I can kind of wear these shoes all year round because it doesn't really get cold here in Florida, especially the brown ones. Like I can wear these with like a cute sweater or whatever. These two I probably wear the most. And this is how they look in the back. This one has the silver on the heel and this one has a gold. And then the white one has um, the silver one as well. But I just thought that these were so cute. I'll have the link in the description box. Um, because I showed these on my Instagram and everybody loved them. So they're so pretty. I love these. I love me a night. Y'all know I love brown. So, so cute. And it's like the perfect heel height. They're not too tall, but they're not a kitten heel. So I love that. Super cute. They look real good on the foot. Like really good. And these are so pretty. I really like this green super cute but yeah I just have to find that little pad so I'm sure I can find it at um, Target so y'all let me know 
um, if you've ever tried them before and if it really works. But they might not be uncomfortable to everybody, but for me, you know, like I said, the ball of my foot, I need a little cushion. So, but they cute, girl. I think these were, I want to say like 24 24 26 99 something like that maybe even 32 i don't really remember but i will link the shoes in the description box for you guys so now i'm getting ready to make myself some lunch y'all just been hanging out with me all day around the house um i'm gonna make myself some lunch so i think i'm gonna do like a chicken salad um Am I gonna do a chicken salad? Yeah, I'm gonna do a chicken salad because I have some lettuce in there that I need to use before it goes bad. Okay, so here's my chicken. I have it on paper towels because I like to pat my chicken dry when I am cooking it on the stove. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, this chicken breast is already cooked. I'm just gonna do this pretty thin, but I'm gonna like butterfly it. So I'm gonna just do that really quick. Ugh. Get it started. Like this. If y'all try this, do it off the paper towel, child, because it's easier. I also do this with my salmon. It just helps the seasoning stick on. So Off. This is probably grossing some of y'all out <laughs> with this raw chicken. I'm sorry, girl. All right, so I'm gonna do some pretty simple seasonings. Let me see what I use. All right, here's the seasons that I'll be using. First thing garlic powder so we're gonna hit that up both sides next up lemon pepper and i'm using one hand to pick up my seasonings the other hand to mess with the chicken just in case just in case we have a germ patrol next up this is my favorite seasoning y'all like i put this on everything but i love putting it on my chicken and my salmon it's so good it is by mccormick grill mates it's sweet and smoky y'all gotta try this so good have my kitchen light on because I don't really need it on so hopefully the footage looks okay all right it does have salt in it but you can barely taste it so it's fine and then this is another favorite of mine smoked paprika I'm gonna put this over here like so I'm gonna add a little bit of accent is it just enhances the flavor. I know everybody don't like using accent. And then and then I'm going to use sea salt. This isn't the sea salt that I usually get, um but if y'all still using that old school salt that's in that blue big container that's like 50 cent, don't use that. <laughs> Please. Okay, so we just sprinkle a little bit of the sea salt. <laughs> this is just to make it look pretty. All right. All right. Now we're gonna move on to the stove. So I cook with olive oil. So I'm just gonna put some in the bottom of the pan. Turn my pan on high. And we just wait for that to get hot. All 
Okay, y'all, so I'm so mad because I don't have everything that I wanted to use for my salad, but um, I'm using this spinach and spring mix. So this just has the baby spinach, baby lettuce blend, and baby greens. Um, it says that it's washed and ready to eat, but I still rinse it off. So I guess I'm just going to have to do, because I don't have any tomatoes. I like to do feta cheese, tomatoes, sometimes black olives, but I don't have that. Because um, I basically wanted to make like a Greek chicken salad. So I don't have that. So I also have this Asiaga cheese that I need to use. I didn't really mean to get this one. Whenever I made those zucchini rolls, I picked up the wrong cheese. And so I was stuck with this cheese. I don't really like this cheese that much. It's a little sweet. Um, but I think I still might use it. So here's the salad. And I decided not to use the Asiago cheese because I just don't like it. So I was hoping I had some Parmesan cheese in there, but I didn't. I only had mozzarella. So it's just the lettuce, croutons, mozzarella, and then I like to top my salads off with a little bit of sesame seeds, my lemon on the side. And then of course I'm using my favorite salad dressing. This salad dressing is from Fresh Market and this is the peanut ginger salad dressing. It's so bomb. So yeah, this is my lunch. So I'm in bed and I'm trying these frozen chocolate covered raspberries for the very first time. So y'all know the reason that I'm craving chocolate. So we're not going to get into that, but this is how they look. So let me show y'all how they look inside. They're pretty good. So this is what it looks like in the inside. And it is pretty tangy, but it's pretty good. I like these. So I think I will be buying these again. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up. Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG 